Hi everybody, we meet again. Um, so today uh, we are going into town to meet one of our friends for some lunch or coffee. I'm not sure which it is yet. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go and do that, which is exciting. Um, and I've got a few things to open in front of you today, like some things that I picked up in the sales for Leo mainly. <laughs> Uh, never me like as soon as you're like a mum yeah you, kind of like shopping for yourself kind of like goes out the window a little bit because you just see so many damn cute things for your baby uh yesterday i didn't film anything yesterday i had my uh, weekly appointment with my psychologist um uh for any of you who've not watched any of my uh videos uh you obviously may not be able to tell uh, by how I am in this video, but I have been suffering with postnatal depression. So I go for weekly uh, sort of like counselling sessions to try to figure out things that trigger my anxiety and stuff like that are. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm about to tweeze my eyebrows because these, these brows, mm -mm, mm -mm, they have been neglected i've basically got like a you know brow starting to come on you might not be able to see it in this but if you look up close it's pretty bad guys so i'm gonna crack on and do that now done i filled them in with a l'oreal like micro blade effect pen but i just don't know if they're a little bit too dark for me look at that bit more on fleek. I literally did not drink coffee until, well, I used to drink coffee at work because we used to do like an order every morning, but I did not drink coffee at home until I became a mum. And might I add, it's always cold. So, I'll show you a few of the bits that I picked up yesterday uh, when I was in town. There's a couple of things missing at the moment because Leo's sleeping and they're in his nursery um, hung up. But yeah, I can show you a couple of the little things I bought. Um, I went to The White Company. One of my, literally, The White Company is, has to be my favourite shop. So when I put Leo to bed, I put him in sleeping bags um, because I don't want him waking up in the night, kicking the covers off. And I just, in general, just find that they're easier. I never swaddled Leo because I couldn't figure out how to do it. So the first thing I did was put him in a sleeping bag. When I was in the white company, they had a sale on and they had another one tog sleeping bag in size six to 18 months. So I thought, well, I'll buy that up now and then I've got one for the summer. Basically, Leo's grown out of his existing sleeping bags. They're not to six months, but Leo's quite long. So, hence me having to buy new ones. So, I picked him up this sleeping bag. <laughs> Look how long it is in comparison. Oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> and it's got a, a Kimbo pattern on it. It's got like a little elephant, basically. In Jojo, I picked up this which is a wipes case like a proper hard wipes case that you can basically just slip into your uh, changing bag and yeah you think you can just like load it up yourself but it's by a brand called skip hop i am absolutely loving everything by skip hop at the moment the toys are gorgeous um, as you know leo's got play mats by skip hop he's got toys by skip hop as well so I'm pretty skip hop obsessed. So here it is. And yeah, you just pop the lid open. There's a little spring here that pushes the wipes out. And then you can just load it up easily like that by popping that open. And I thought it was quite, I think it was quite an ingenious little idea. I also got from Jojo uh, this thing, which is called a gummy glove. Um, basically Leo's chewing on his hands all the time at the moment because he's teething. So basically you put this little glove 
how cute is that you put this little glove um onto his uh dominant hand that he chews the most so leo's clearly right-handed because he's always chewing his right hand um it's got a little black and white contrasting pattern here for them to look at it crinkles you've got a couple of teething toys on either side here and then you've got this teething toy. This actually uh, comes out of the glove, so you can actually take it out and he can just bite it. But yeah, I just thought that was quite a good idea. Um, obviously it keeps the hands much drier as well, and you can obviously wash it in the washing machine. And then it comes with a little bag to store it in. So next, an online sh shop that I found um, called Blue Almonds. And I think it's like a little boutique up in London. And what I ordered is called Nib Bling. And it's a teething, a teething dummy clip. So you can see it's in the packaging there. So if I just take this out, oh, there we go. So we'll see you attach this end to your pacifier. This is all silicon and chewy, so baby can have a good gnaw on it. And then that attaches to his clothes. So yeah, I got that, which I thought was really, really cute. And then I also got, and I have opened this to have a little look at it. It's basically called uh, Natus. <laughs> it's German, but it's Natursuten, um, which is a natural pacifier. So this is made of natural rubber. I got the 0 to 6 month size because obviously Leo is about 4 months old um, but it's obviously BPA free um, lots of dummies are made of silicon but it's an orthodontic dummy and there it is look at that proper rubber rubber dummy let me just show you up close there it is oh and that's really cute <laughs> so the company that I ordered from they put this little label inside the bag and they, it's actually handwritten and it says thank you for shopping with us a little smiley face how cute is that and I also went to a like a home homeware shop my mother my mother-in-law um, is obsessed with anything sort of like French style and I found these uh, two shopping bags they're like the little net ones and it just said a uh, classic French style shopping bag so I picked um, one up for her and one up for me and I haven't decided yet which colour that I want. I think I can hear Leo waking um, so I'm just gonna go see. Yeah he's definitely awake. I'm gonna go get him. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Are you just woken up? Have you just woken up? <laughs> Come on then. So Leo's just woken up from his nap. Say hello. The sun is out. Isn't it? The sun's out. Where? Look at his little jumper and his trousers. He looks like a little boy. You look like a little boy. Oh dear. So whilst he's now up, he's down there on the play mat. Um, let's just go into his nursery and I can show you. Let's open the blinds as well. Oh, sunlight, that's better. Hi. Um, so I can show you the other grow bag that I got for him. Whoa, that's so big. So this is like the, this is an Orla Kylie one. And oh my God, it was in such a good sale. So it was reduced from like 38 quid uh, down to um, 17. And then if we go in his wardrobe, look at all his clothes. Oh God. I also got this one as well. Look at this gorgeous little jacket that I got him as well. It's reversible and it's really fluffy inside. And this is from Jules. He's also got this little top here. <laughs> it's got a little frog on it and little trousers, oh, which is so cute. I cannot wait until he's big enough to wear this as well. This is from one of our friends, but oh my God, it's so cute. 
and he's got a pom-pom hat and he's got these things called nipper slippers look they are so cute <laughs> Right, you can probably hear him moaning now, so I'm going to go and see if he is okay. Turn the light out. Is the light off? Yeah. What are you crying for? Are you bored on your own? Are you? Are you bored there on your own? What are you doing? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Check out the cuteness. <gasps> Leo. <laughs> Hi. He hasn't quite got the knack of bouncing yet. Um, he kind of just sort of stands there and like falls around a little bit, but I'm sure he'll pick it up eventually. Because it's. <laughs> but we're going to get you a jumper roo, aren't we? We're going to get you a jumper roo so you can bounce in the lounge with Mama. <laughs> it's so cute, isn't it? I think it's time to change your nappy. Alexa is telling us that it's time to change your nappy. She is. He stops when he hears this sound because he knows the food is coming. The food is coming, Leo! Oh, no. Oh, no. Got it. Right, are we ready to go? Time to leave? Come on then. Hey Leo. So we're currently in a place called the Lounge in Juro, which is a bar and food place. I've got poached eggs and smoked salmon, a lovely glass of wine, and a mocha because I'm greedy. I'm just waiting for my friend. Mm, mm, mm. So the friend has arrived. With her. Gorgeous little baby. Hello, Noah. Hello. So we're on our way home now. We had a lovely time in town. Um, so I caught up with my friend Gemma, um, who's recently had a baby, and I didn't really know her um, literally until I went into Tom's office a few days after giving birth. And she was there, and she was pregnant, and she was due like literally like three weeks after me but she, yeah so she's got a little baby boy called uh, Noah so it's just do you know what it's just so so nice like meeting new people um because you know because you're a mum um and you know everybody makes jokes about the fact that you know like you proper got like mum clans and stuff in town but when you're on maternity and stuff it's literally it can be the most isolating time of your entire life or it can be the most socializing time and you know you can really really suffer from the isolation sometimes so you will almost just make friends with anybody just so you know you've got people to talk to and you make friends with people who you never you know normally would have met and I absolutely love it. So I met Gemma, like, you know, literally a few months ago. We've met up twice since having the babies and she's just so my kind of person. Um, so I'm definitely gonna message her to just pop up to my house and the baby because we can just lie the babies on the play mats together and they can have fun. Uh, so yeah, so we are now home.
done. I've just had a couple of deliveries. So I've got a load of mailing bags, another load of mailing bags for my eBay stuff. And this, and I think I know what it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know what it is. <laughs> so excited. Yes, it is. Oh. So this is a baby neck float. So you can put them in the bath with this and they kick and it's on their arms. Oh, so excited. That's brilliant. Look, it's even got little bells in it that jingle. Oh God. Oh my God. I'm gonna have so much fun with this tonight. Mr. Little Man. Hi, Daddy. So we had special delivery today, Dad. Special delivery? Special delivery. Go and look on the bath in the bathroom. Okay. All oh, right, okay. Here's a little neck float or neck band. Oh, he's going to love that. Having a good time. Okay, now don't be afraid. <laughs> so my brows are so black because I'm tinting them, so they'll be on fleek. So I'm using a tint called I think it's Maybelline New York Tattoo Brow. So you put it on and then you like peel it off and it should tint your brows. We'll find out in a couple of hours. Well, you'll find out in a couple of days probably how badly or well that went. And I'm also doing an enzyme mask by Palmer's Cocoa Butter, which is nice. It's got like fruit enzymes and stuff in it to like renew your skin. Um, I've been manically sort of like cleaning the lounge and stuff because the health is just coming. Sorry, I've just got into my pajamas. My clothes are all dumped on the floor. But yeah, my health is just coming around tomorrow to weigh Leo and do a few of his checks and stuff like that. So I've just been trying to make it look all clean for her. Check out this blanket that I'm knitting Leo. My nan taught me to knit when I was living with her, so I'm doing that. But yeah, so we're both chilling at the moment. Tom went to CrossFit tonight, didn't you, Tom? Yeah. How did you find that? Terrible. Terrible. He's apparently, he's quite unfit. Yeah. Um, but we're just sort of chilling at the moment and we're watching a film called Split, which is like a thriller of some sort. Well, anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Leo's in bed. Thanks for hanging out with me for the day. My battery's flashing now to tell me it's about to die, so that's pretty perfect timing. So I'll say bye-bye, guys, and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.